WTN invites you to join us for benediction and devotions from the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament and Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we offer the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary for all of our mothers and grandmothers, living and deceased. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us, Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven, God the Son, Redeemer of the world. God the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Holy Mother of God. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Mother of Christ. Mother of the Church. Mother of Divine Grace. 
Mother most pure. Mother most chaste. Mother inviolate. Mother undefiled. Mother most amiable. Mother most admirable. Mother of good counsel. Mother of our Creator. Mother of our Savior. Virgin most prudent. Virgin most venerable. Virgin most renowned. Virgin most powerful. Virgin most merciful. Virgin most faithful. Mirror of justice. Seat of wisdom. Cause of our joy. Spiritual vessel. Vessel of honor. Singular vessel of devotion. Mystical rose. Tower of David. Tower of ivory. House of gold. Ark of the covenant. Gate of heaven. Morning star. Health of the sick. Refuge of sinners. Comforter of the afflicted. Help of Christians. Queen of angels. Queen of patriarchs. Queen of prophets. Queen of apostles. Queen of martyrs. Queen of confessors. Queen of virgins. Queen of all saints. Queen conceived without original sin. Queen assumed into heaven. Queen of the most holy rosary. Queen of families. Queen of peace. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, thy servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. Amen. Our Lady of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Lucam. A woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to Jesus, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Verbum Domini. In that a brief passage, our dear Lord Jesus teaches us which is better to belong to his earthly family or to his spiritual family. 
He reveals that it is better to belong to his spiritual family than to his earthly family. And belonging to his earthly family is a great blessing, and he does not disregards that or puts down the uh, reality of the real blessing, but he reveals that belonging to his spiritual family is better than belonging to his earthly uh, family. His uh, mother Mary, who is our dear blessed mother, is blessed on both accounts. And she is blessed to belong to his uh, earthly family, and she is blessed uh, to belong to his spiritual family. She has this uh, dual blessings because she is Christ's true biological mother, while at the same time she is the perfect example of one who hears the word of God and obeys it, who belongs truly to his spiritual uh, family. In the United States, uh, the second Sunday of May is Mother's Day, a day when we honor in a special way our mothers. Uh, our mother with our father have played an important role in giving every one of us this wonderful, precious gift of life. And this is something that none of us can ever pay back. And God wants us to honor them and to help us honor them, our, to honor our parents. He gives us the fourth commandment since we receive the gift of life from God through our parents. And Blessed John Paul II pointed out beautifully in his apostolic letter that even though parenthood is a shared responsibility, the woman's motherhood is the most demanding part. And this is taken from uh, paragraph 18 of his letter on the dignity and vocation of women. His Holiness wrote, Although both of them together are parents of their child, the woman's motherhood constitutes a special part in this shared parenthood and the most demanding part. He said, Parenthood, even though it belongs to both, is realized much more fully in the woman, especially in the prenatal period. It is the woman who pays directly for the shared generation, which literally absorbs the energies of her body and soul. It is therefore necessary that the man be fully aware that in their shared parenthood, he owes a special debt to the woman. No program of equal rights between women and men is valid unless it takes this fact fully into account. Blessed John Paul II taught that parenthood is a shared responsibility, but motherhood is the most demanding part. And so on this day, in a particular way, we honor our mothers, we, we thank them, we pray for them, we express our love for them in a special way. We also encourage them in their important role, in their uh, essential role and irreplaceable and noble role in family and society. Perhaps... Uh, some are single mothers. Perhaps some are uh, lonely mothers. Or perhaps some are uh, tired mothers or distressed mothers or bedridden mothers or mothers who are very ill and dying. You know, all of you were certainly in my heart when we prayed the litany uh, earlier. And the Lord said that the spiritual family has even greater blessings than the earthly physical family. Of course, our mother's role include that, the spiritual aspect to help 
each one of us to grow spiritually, to grow uh, in our faith to maturity. I think oftentimes many of us say our grandmother is a strong pillar of our faith. You know, they have an important role to instill that faith uh, within us. And so on Mother's Day, we also include our spiritual mothers, our own mothers who pray for us, uh, Mother Angelica and all the sisters here and uh, throughout the world who pray for us and pray for the salvation of the world. We all uh, thank you for your love and sacrifices. We love you. I think often what you do for us either not recognize enough or not thank enough or not appreciate it enough. And so we acknowledge and thank you all for being who you are as our mothers. Of course, we thank our Blessed Mother in a very particular and very uh, special way. You know, she is our mother. She always intercedes for us before her son Jesus, uh, present here and in heaven. I always love the, uh, what Second Vatican Council uh, teaches from Lumen Gentium number 62 regarding this a maternal role of our Blessed Mother. This maternity of Mary began at the Annunciation and sustained without wavering beneath the cross and lasts until the eternal fulfillment of all the elect. Taken up to heaven, she did not lay aside the salvific duty, but by her constant intercession continued to bring us the gifts of eternal salvation. By her maternal charity, she cares for the brothers and sisters of her son who still journey on earth surrounded by dangers until they are led into the happiness of their true home. And of course, uh, our true home is not in this world, but in heaven where Jesus has ascended and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And so let me conclude with the uh, prayers of blessings for all mothers here and those uh, joining us uh, through the media. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Anem de cielo prestitis tiis, aleluya. Oremos. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento mirabili passionis tu memoriam rele cuisti, tribue quesumus, ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis jugiter sensiamus, cui vivis et reinas in secula seculorum. The divine praises together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through men. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen.